Hey, welcome back. Like Mars and Venus, Earth has volcanoes, mountains, and valleys. Earth's lithosphere, which includes the cross, both continental and oceanic, and the upper mantle, is divided into huge plates that are constantly moving. For example, the North American plate moves west over the Pacific Ocean Basin, roughly at a rate equal to the growth of our fingernails. Earthquakes result when plates grind past one another, ride up over one another, collide to make mountains or split and separate. Earth's global ocean, which covers 70% of the planet's surface, has an average depth of about 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers and contains 97% of Earth's water. Almost all of Earth volcanoes are hidden under these oceans. Hawaii's Mauna Kea volcano is taller from base to summit than Mount Everest, but most of it is underwater. Earth's longest mountain range is also underwater at the bottom of the Arctic and Atlantic oceans. It is four times longer than the Andes, Rockies, and the Himalayas combined. Earth's atmosphere shields us from much of the harmful radiation coming from the sun. Our planet's rapid rotation and molten nickel iron core give rise to a magnetic field. When charged particles from the solar wind become trapped in Earth's magnetic field, they collide with air molecules above our planet's magnetic poles. These air molecules then begin to glow and cause aurora, or the northern and southern lights. The magnetic field is what causes compass needles to point to the North Pole regardless of which way you turn. But the magnetic polarity of Earth can change, flipping the direction of the magnetic field. The geologic record tells scientists that a magnetic reversal takes place about every 400,000 years on average, but the timing is very irregular. As far as we know, such a magnetic reversal doesn't cause any harm to life on Earth, and a reversal is very unlikely to happen for at least another thousand years. But when it does happen, compass needles are likely to point in many different directions for a few centuries while the switch is being made. And after the switch is completed, they will all point south instead of north. Earth is made of complex interactive systems that create a constantly changing world that we are striving to understand. From the vantage point of space, we are able to observe our planet globally using sensitive instruments to understand the delicate balance amongst its oceans, air, land, and life. NASA satellites observations help study and predict weather, dry out, pollution, climate change, and many other phenomena that affect the environment, the economy, and our society at large. So here are some NASA missions to keep in mind. Aqua Earth Observing Satellite Mission launched on May 4, 2002. Aqua is the Latin word for water, and Aqua is studying the precipitation, evaporation, and cycling of water on Earth. Another mission is the atmospheric tomography mission called ATOM. ATOM is studying the impact of air pollution in the atmosphere, and several other missions is exploring and studying our home planet 24-7. To learn more in details about these missions, you can go at artobservatory.nasa.gov. I am going to leave you with this great description from Sally Ridge, a NASA astronaut and the first American woman in space. Quote, one moment I will never forget is from when I was an astronaut. I remember floating over to the window for the first time, looking toward the horizon and seeing a very, very thin royal blue line all the way across the horizon. It looked like someone had taken a blue pencil and outlined the Earth. Then I realized that the blue line was Earth's atmosphere. It was memorable because it was obvious then how fragile and delicate our atmosphere is. There just isn't very much of it. It, but it sure is important. Sally Ridge died on July 23, 2012 at the age of 61.
that's it for this video thanks for watching and bye for now